More people impacted by last week's deadly storms are now eligible for federal help. FEMA aid is now available to storm victims in Coosa, Elmore and Hale counties. According to the National Weather Service, the tornado that tore through those areas was a strong EF3 damaging and destroying property. FEMA now says that damage has met the threshold to warrant federal aid. Residents affected can now register through FEMA to help them pay for things like temporary housing, basic home repairs, and other uninsured disaster-related losses. These are hard times. These are disaster times. We know that people have been affected. FEMA is on the ground. We are here to help and we'll be here as long as we are needed. With today's news, that now means that FEMA aid is available to storm victims in Autauga, Dallas, Elmore, Coosa, and Hale counties. Right now on WSFA.com, we've got the information about how you can apply for that aid through FEMA. Now, as we mentioned, Coosa County is one of those areas. One small part of Coosa County suffered significant damage. WSFA 12 News anchor Sally Pitt spoke to the woman who's leading the charge to get help to those in need. These photos show the damage left in the small community of Rehoboth in Equality. Eight homes were destroyed. Six were connected to one family. The only houses that are left here in this little Rehoboth community is mine, my grandsons, and my daughters. While Donna Brown's home was spared, her heart is with her family members who are now without a place to live. My husband's uncle was in the trailer that was blown away. We were able to get him out not uninjured, but alive. Another relative lost their home. Their five-year-old is on a ventilator. They were able to salvage all of his medical equipment. Despite the great loss, Donna says they feel blessed. God's hedge of protection has been around this family and, um, and just really showed them they might have lost material things, but this these people that have pulled together and has gotten us through this is just, that's what we're, we're taking away from this is all the love and support that's shown. And Donna also shared this photo of another relative, Tracy, and her dog, known as Black Dog. Tracy's home was destroyed. She was going through the remnants of her house, trying to salvage what she could when the dog started barking and scratching and eventually led Tracy outside the home. Not long after, the roof where she was standing collapsed. They feel like the dog protected her. Sally Pitts, WSFA 12 News. Dogs can be amazing like that. If you'd like to help the people of Coosa County, you should reach out to the Equality Fire Department or Rockford Baptist Church. Meanwhile, there are also signs of progress in Selma, which was hit by a tornado the same day. Damage has been extensive in that historic city, especially in the downtown area. Several organizations have now stepped up to meet the need of families in Selma. Today, two groups gathered to hand out necessities like food and toiletries. WSFA 12 News reporter Ashley Bowerman continues our coverage. After disaster strikes, Thank you, sweetie. it takes a village to get a community back on their feet. And so many are coming together to support those displaced by the EF2 tornado that tore through Selma. It's so overwhelming um, to with joy that know, to know that we can still meet the needs of our veterans, to let them know that we are still here. The Central Alabama Veterans Affairs Health Care System donated food and toiletries to veterans at their outpatient clinic in Selma. Sometimes our, our clinics and our veterans, it's a safe haven haven for them, so the only place they know to go is their clinic. So we want to make sure that we were here to be available for them. Y'all going to go to the line? If our brothers and sisters are hurting here in Selma, then we should be feeling that pain in Montgomery as well. The Metropolitan United Methodist Church's Beacon Center out of Montgomery had cars lined up at Selma First Baptist Church. We're just thankful today that we'll be able to serve uh, 300 plus households with fresh frozen meats, uh, gro groceries and dry goods. Past Mr. Richard Williams has heard it's been difficult for residents to find food. We heard uh, earlier from a neighbor who shared with us that they would love to go to the grocery store, but every time they get there, all the items are all picked over. And so we're thankful today that we're going to be able to provide to all of those that are in line and everyone's going to be able to be served. 
The Beacon Center will be serving meals at Selma First Baptist Church every first and third Friday of each month until they say the need is met. And if you missed the VA's event today, you can call the Tuscaloosa VA at 205-554-3550 or stop by their clinic there in Selma at 206 Bond Memorial Drive. Mark. Nice to see different churches, different denominations, all working together to help these storm victims. Ashley, thank you. Non-perishable food, toiletries, diapers, and other personal hygiene products can be dropped off at the Dallas County Courthouse in Selma or at Selma High School, where the Red Cross is also stationed to provide help to those who need it. The cleanup efforts continue in Otaga County, where an EF3 tornado is responsible for killing seven people and destroying hundreds of homes. WSFA 12 News anchor Rosanna Smith spoke with volunteers with the Alabama Baptist Disaster Relief Organization, which has been on the ground helping those in need. Mel Johnson has called Otaga County home for over 16 years. And to see family and friends that have been impacted as a result of the crisis is just, uh, it just brings it all home. As a mission strategist for Otaga Baptist Association Disaster Relief, Johnson has worked hundreds of disasters. This one, though, hits different. We got a phone call immediately, uh, just moments after the tornado passed through, asking that we help extricate and help uh, first responders cut their way in to help homeowners. Alabama Baptist disaster relief teams have been doing a lot of heavy lifting like you see here since last Thursday when that tornado swept through the area, but that's not all. The very next day we had assessors, trained assessors out going door to door along with chainsaw crews. Many of our churches set up uh, for feeding operations. We have trained OSFA operational stress first aid chaplains. Johnson says they will be in this community for as long as it takes. Our Alabama Baptist State Board of Missions is working with emergency management and FEMA to set up a site at our disaster relief uh, uh, center here in the Prattville area. And so we're grateful because uh, we're going to be able to assist homeowners with the long term recovery process. He says he is proud of the outpouring of support to help all those who have suffered a great loss. And I'm so thankful to be a part of a community that uh, uh, is willing to um, turn out and help uh, regardless of the cost. Rosanna Smith, WSFA 12 News, Otonga County. All of that assistance is being provided free, of course. If you'd like to donate or volunteer with that organization, we've placed information at WSFA.com. And if you or someone you love lost some of your food uh, because of SNAP benefits, DHR today is now offering some free replacement that affects more than 45,000 people in the counties affected. If you are one of them, you can request replacement benefits by visiting your local DHR office. You should do that, though, before February 2nd, and you have to do it in person.